this year's winner in the physical sciences category is a director at the Space Physics Laboratory at the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center in Tiruvannantapuram. He has a master's degree from Lucknow University and a PhD from the Banaras Hindu University. And to announce this prize, it is my pleasure to introduce its jury chair, Professor Srinivas Kulkarni. Professor Kulkarni is John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Professor of Astronomy and Planetary Science at Caltech. His primary interests are the study of compact objects and the search for extrasolar planets. He's a recipient of many awards. He was elected a Fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1994, of the Royal Society of London in 2001, of the National Academy of Sciences in 2003, and just in the last year, he was nominated as Fellow of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences. Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Srinivas Kulkarni. So as you gathered, I'm an astronomer. For me, the most profound mystery is not the universe, but that life exists at all in this harsh universe. This then leads me and my fellow astronomers to ask, I would say, the grandest question, does life exist elsewhere? Let us agree to be parochial and assume that chemical basis for any life is similar to that of our own, namely, it revolves around liquid water and having an atmosphere. I can assure you that there are over one billion Earth-like planets in our own galaxy, and there are one billion or more galaxies in our own universe. And these one billion Earth-like planets are in a temperate zone. Venus, Earth, and Mars pass the test. You could have water in parts of the planet. However, the solar wind has stripped Mars of a usable atmosphere, so Mars is not able to support vibrant biological activity. So in our quest for life, we are forced to understand other issues. Solar wind, planetary magnetosphere, which protects us, for instance, for Earth, and the delicate physics of the interaction of solar wind with the atmosphere of planets. The winner for the 2016 Infosys Prize in Physical Sciences is Dr. Anil Bhadwaj of the Indian Space Research Organization. He's being recognized for in-situ measurements of the solar wind at the moon and high altitude atmosphere of Mars. <clears throat> Dr. Bhadwaj was the Indian principal investigator of the Indo-Swedish experiment SARA aboard Chandrayaan-1. The solar wind consists of energetic charged particles, namely electrons and protons. The team found that the solar wind upon impacting the moon is simply not absorbed as one would have expected from common sense. Instead, a part of the solar wind is reflected as neutral atoms and a part of it doesn't even reach the surface. It's reflected above the surface, well above the surface. So that delicate physics now involves not merely sputtering at the surface, but also charge exchange and small scale magnetospheres arising from small anomalies in the magnetic field of the moon. So I hope you understand. If you want to understand life, you want to understand many, many things. That's why life is so precious. Dr. Bharadwaj was also the principal investigator of Menka aboard Mangalayan 1. This measured the atmospheric composition of, the, of Mars at high latitudes. What the team found was carbon, mono, carbon dioxide, which is mainly the primary constituent of Mars with a little bit of nitrogen. It undergoes a transition to oxygen at 270 kilometers. Oxygen is much lighter than CO2, so it escapes much faster. These observations provide key boundary conditions for numerical uh, models of the composition and thermal escape of the Martian atmosphere. I'd certainly like to congratulate Dr. Bhadwaj for his successive successes. It's not very easy in this field. I know from personal experience. 
But also, I'd like to congratulate the Indian Space Research Organization. Um, it takes a huge effort to launch rockets, have spacecraft work in harsh atmospheres uh, year after year. Finally, I'd like to say that physical sciences covers a huge range of sciences, paleontology, geology, astronomy, space sciences, physics, and chemistry. You need a very strong juror pool to make this prize happen to, for us to discuss and debate the merits across this wide range. Uh, my fellow panelists were Professor Spenta Wadia, the founding director of ICTS Bangalore, uh, the eminent chemist, Professor Richard Zair of Stanford University, Professor Raja Ramnityanand of Aziz Premji University, and Dr. Jitendra Goswami, the, uh, recently the, the director of the Physical Research Lab in Ahmedabad. So congratulations to Bharatwaj again. Thank you, Professor. We asked Professor Bhardwaj what inspires him, and this is what he had to say. Can we have the video, please? Inspiration. Mm -hmm. The inspiration comes from uh, science, and uh, largely that India now has unique opportunity to send our own missions to various planets, and that is a driving force because we now have the capability to think and devise an experiment which was not possible some time back. So what we are trying to actually understand is the different configuration of the planets, whether Earth was in past something like Mars, Venus or Jupiter, or will Earth be like that? So what we are trying to understand is journey of the planet Earth itself, exploring it in time. I am Anil Bharadwaj and I am a planetary scientist. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage Professor Anil Bharadwaj. May I request Mr. Gopal Krishnan, anchor trustee, to join us. I request Dr. Ramakrishnan to present the Infosys Prize in Physical Sciences to Professor Anil Bharadwaj. Thank you, sirs. Professor Bhardwaj, a few words. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Infosys Science Foundation. I'm actually delighted and happy and deeply honored for this award. Thank you, Professor Kolkarni, for narrating my work so nicely, precisely, and to the distinguished jury for their commendation. This award is also a recognition for my lab, the Space Research Laboratory, the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, as well as a great appreciation of the planetary exploration program of ISRO, the Indian Space Research Organization. You heard few names from Professor Kulkarni, like Sara, Menka, and more you are going to hear like Chez, Papa, Rambha, which is going to fly in future on upcoming planetary missions of India. So developing payloads or experiments in space is really a team effort. There's a large pool of scientists and engineers who really work to develop these payloads, right from the design phase to the development phase, to the test and calibration, the integration, the flying, operation, collecting data, analyzing, interpreting, and finally getting the thrill of science coming out from that. So I would like to acknowledge my deep appreciation of pool of scientists and engineers, the team who really helped me develop these experiments. I would also like to thank my all collaborators, co-workers, and colleagues for listening to my exotic and funny ideas, and some of them really get fortified. I owe this prize to my family, my mom and dad, my brothers and sisters, 
for constant support and encouragement. And of course, to my wife, Preeti, who has been a tremendous source of inspiration for me and really taking care of me. And to my daughters, Misha and Anusha, for never asking any time from me because I never used to give them enough time to really spend with them. Finally, I would like to compliment the Infosys Science Foundation for this wonderful award of really recognizing the excellence in India. Thank you. Thank you very much.